What's up, my dudes? It's colder than a witch's tea towel out here, bruh. This is my new custom track called Ski Slope, and it's pretty much just a straight rhythm that's not straight at all, and it's a fucking ski slope, so <laughs> I've had this idea for a while now. I just never really got around to making it, and I'm sure that a lot of other people have had this idea. They just didn't really know how to go about making it because it's quite the out there sort of track design and it's this constant free flowing downhill sort of always momentum towards one thing so it's actually quite tricky to design a track around that um it's a lot more tricky than you would think because number one uh there's a limit to how long you can make an mx simulator track i got this shit corner to corner dude so i've got it as long as you can possibly make a track i really wanted to make it longer so if you hop on this track and go oh man it feels kind of short just remember i wanted it longer but i just there's only so long you can make a actual mx simulator track in this game so um, that's something to always keep in mind and you you really have to build the track around that limitation there and it makes it quite difficult because number one you have to make all of your objects and your tracks sort of you almost have to look from a top-down view you have to look at the track at an angle so it actually makes it pretty tricky to uh, line everything up properly but yeah it's it's just a fun track um i'm going to be making some different renditions of it wow i got way too peppy on that rock but i'm going to be making some different versions of it maybe some more hyper realistic versions where the track doesn't like cross over anywhere and i'll make it have more corners and stuff where it'll feel longer but this is just kind of the first ski slope version of a track that I'm making right here and it's just a fun um, you can race other people on it and there's multiple places where you can cross over on the track so it makes it kind of cool like that if you were to race somebody and um, I, I didn't want to have too many corners or anything like that because then it would jack up the flow of the entire track so that was kind of something I really thought about long and hard and I just I wanted it to feel like a ski slope at the core so there's it, it may be a little bit shorter in the long run but I feel like overall it's it feels more like a ski slope just because of right here <laughs> these uh, these moguls dude they are manly like this is not your moguls that you'll find on a standard supercross track I mean these are like straight up ski slope moguls to the teeth dude uh, they're a ton of fun I had to go in there and make them from complete scratch because there's really no way to make them properly with like a gradient so i had to go in there and like screw around with the raise tool and all that stuff but i figured out how to do it and uh you got to be kind of clever like that sometimes really being a, a custom track maker or even a youtuber you have to be clever you know you got to be you got to be smarter than the average joe to make things work because nothing just works easy in life you know let me not get in a whole nother rant right here but you, you just have to be smart about every single thing you just you have to be or you'll never be able to do anything like um i mean for instance right here most people probably wouldn't think you could make a ski slope track just simply in the fact that you can't really make a track that's super long in this game you know a lot of people that would shut them off right away to that idea of making a track like that but i mean i made it work dude um it, even though like i'm saying it's still a little bit short but it's it's gonna be your standard short uh supercross ama lap times out there i mean you're gonna be running probably like a a 50 second lap time on this track which is is really not that bad it, it just feels a little bit shorter because there's there's only like so many sections on the track i think that's what makes it feel a bit shorter but on youtube you may not be able to tell the coolest thing about this track and that's the constant forward pushing you momentum and it's something i've never felt on a custom track before it's amazing you can almost ride down the whole track without ever even hitting the gas so uh, that's something that's really fun that you'll notice when you actually get on the track here but uh check this out right here at the end oh my gosh dude i was thinking what am i gonna do on this awesome ski slope style track at the very end i have no idea i gotta do something epic because dude it's a ski slope track so i was like i was trying to think i was like okay so we're in Colorado 
Um, that's where all the ski slopes are and stuff. And I was like, okay, so Colorado legalized something. Check it out, dog. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Oh, uh, I have way too much fun. I swear. Building custom tracks. That is the finish line to ski slope right there, dude. Oh man. It's great. I love it. But yeah, just I always throw something crazy in there like that. If you know Spencer Turley, I mean, this is no surprise to you. But uh, yeah, so let me actually play this back and get it in more of a different view here so I can show you guys some of the actual sections. But now let me go ahead and uh, give you guys a little bit of an update here. I'm going to be actually releasing my all of my older tracks and stuff like that on the forums and on... Uh, TM Factory Racing. I'm going to be spitting those puppies out one at a time. Um, and I know in an earlier video, I said that the reason why I didn't do that was to give my uh, subscribers, you know, sort of a benefit there where where they got all of my tracks early. They were the first ones to see it and all that stuff. But then I got to thinking like I can still do that and be able to put my tracks on the forums and uh, TM Factory Racing. All I'll have to do is just, you know, when I have a brand new track, I'll just release it like a week or two later on the forums and the, the whatever. So that still gives my subscribers an incentive and just a benefit to subscribing to me. You know, they're the first ones to see my custom tracks. So I can still do that without being like, oh, you, you have to watch my YouTube video to get my custom track. I thought that was kind of silly. I never really meant for it to be like that. I was really just trying to give my subs um, just a, a little added benefit there, but I got to looking on TM Factory, uh, the all those custom tracks on there, and I was thinking, dude, I'm sitting on like 40 or 50 custom tracks, and there ain't a single one of those things on the TM Factory Racing. I was like, there's something wrong here. I need to uh, start putting these on the forums, and just so that you know your your average random dude that doesn't happen to click on that one particular custom track video, uh, you know, I, I feel like there's so many videos out there that just a lot of people just wouldn't see so i feel like it's going to get my custom tracks out there a little bit more but like i said i'm still um keeping it to where i will won't be putting those on there until like a week or two after that track comes out so you guys will still be getting the benefit of it but uh I'll, but i'll be slowly releasing all of my older tracks and stuff like that on the forum so if any of you guys see it don't freak out <laughs> that's that's what i'm kind of doing there so i got some pretty cool roost on this track and i also have three different types of tractions here so i have a heavy snow i have an ice and i have an actual uh a rock sort of like rock traction let me back this up a little bit so this is one area where you can cross over right here if you want to uh, there's actually two spots on the track two or three spots on the track where you can cross over like that so uh just a cool little fun racing element i can picture two dudes on both sides of the uh both different lanes of the tracks and then just crossing over right into each other uh that would crack me up definitely uh shoot me a video of that if you're racing against your buddies on this track but um so this section over here is actually pretty cool. I, it's see what you don't realize is that that forward constant forward momentum totally changes the entire feeling of the track. So it, even though it may look super basic, I mean this section right here feels like you're actually in a water slide or you're 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 really skiing in real life. I've actually skied before, so I know what it feels like. And believe it or not, this section over here when you ride the berms. It really feels like that, so uh, it's it's pretty cool how I captured that part of it. But uh, right here, I've got sort of a little ice uh, cavern chasm something going on here, um, where you can cross over here as well. But you got to jump over both of these little things, which is quite uh, risky because if you fall down there, then you're stuck. But um, it's just a run anyways. It's not like you're running laps on it, so it's not that big of a deal. But um, this whole section over here, it's almost like you you explore a little bit your first. Couple couple of laps on this track because it's you don't really know where you're going but once you get it learned it's not too bad but um you know I don't, it's not like i have just a thousand tough blocks everywhere telling you exactly where to go so it's it's almost like you're exploring the ski slopes a little bit not too crazy but a little bit um and that's kind of what i was saying about making different renditions of this track i'm going to make one that doesn't cross over at all and it has way more curves and corners and it's going to feel just a lot longer of an experience um so that's something i plan on making in the future but uh yeah crazy rock section you got to go pretty slow um 
but obviously the rock has a different traction than the snow and then the ice has a different traction than those two things so you got that element there as well but yeah link in the description to the track and uh, like i said just remember if you see any of my older custom tracks or whatever on the forums don't freak out <laughs> i'm just i'm slowly going to be putting those out to everybody and um i will be releasing my newer custom tracks at least a week later on the forums in tm factory it may even be longer than that so still giving you guys the benefit but just letting the rest of the world see my custom tracks even if they're not on youtube is pretty much what i'm doing there so hey dudes i just wanted to let you know that there is a link in the description to donate to me if you want to support me and if you can't or you just don't want to i totally understand that's why it's completely optional but i will be listing my top 10 donators at the end of every single future video and I will shout out every new donator at the end of a video, even if they're not top 10. So I want to let you guys know that I have all of my different playlists on my front page, whether it be game-specific playlist or series-specific playlist. So if you're looking for any particular game or particular series that you want to watch, I have it all laid out there in a pretty organized manner on my front page. And my email address is spencerturley at live.com, no space, no capital. And I do accept sponsorship offers. And you guys should also follow me on Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, PlayStation Network, Xbox Live, Steam, all that different stuff at Spencer Turley. No space, no capital. So anyways, I appreciate you guys watching the videos. Later, dudes.